This video is going to concentrate on the formula for speed, which is right here. Speed equals, equals distance divided by time. And it will also give a little bit of a demonstration on how to read speed graphs. So if we look at this graph right here, on the left we have our distance uh, with the symbol D. And it is going to be measured in meters with the M in the parentheses. Um, the x-axis is going to be the time, and that is measured in seconds. And so if we look at our first example here, um, we have a line going from 0 all the way up to the coordinates of 400 meters in 8 seconds. So if we do the math and we say the speed is equal to the distance, which is 400 meters, over the time which is eight seconds and we do the math there um, eight divide 400 divided by eight is going to be 50 and the units stay the same that's 50 meters for every second and that would be the speed of whatever this object is and you can see that it's well this is supposed to be a straight line so it's going at a constant speed now if I have a different example here where uh, we have this other object that is going from zero only to 100 meters and it does it in um, five seconds, um, we do the same thing. It's going to be speed is equal to the distance and it went 100, 100 meters here. 100 meters it did it it did it in a span of five seconds oops in five seconds and that turns into 20 meters per second and then the next example if that object continued to to travel and from five seconds to eight seconds all right, five, six, seven, eight, five seconds to eight seconds. It went from 100 to 400. Then the speed then will be the distance it traveled from here to here, which is 100, 200, 300 more meters. So it went 300 additional meters in a span of one, two, three more seconds. And that comes out to um, 100 meters per second. And if you notice, um, well, so again, from here to here, from 0 to 5, it went 20 meters per second. And then it sped up from 5 seconds to uh, 8 seconds, it went 100 meters per second. But we end up in the same place in the same amount of time. So overall, um, it still went 50 meters per second if you add it all together. And in taking a look at it, if we combine the numbers, here's 100 meters per second, 100 meters, and if we add that uh, to 300 meters and the three seconds, right? So if we add this plus this, we end up with 400 meters in 8 seconds. And that, of course, is the same, um, same numbers that we started with. And that's going to be 50 meters per second. So what you end up with um, is an average, an average speed. So it went one speed um, in the green and went another speed in the blue and it averaged out to this total speed and it would be the same average if it went a different path if it went at a constant rate of, of uh, 400 meters in the 8 seconds as shown in, in the red. So now if we take a completely different look at this and we erase some of this stuff um, let's see let's uh, let's keep that okay so if we take a different look and again the red was 
the red was um, whoops sorry about that the red was um, 400 meters in the eight seconds and they came out to 50 meters per second if we took a different path and it doesn't have to be a straight line. It could have been, you know, going out slow and then going something like that. We still have the same beginning. We have the same end. And it traveled the same distance. It's, it's traveled this distance in this amount of time. And so it ends up in the same place at the same time. So it would still be 50 meters per second if it was let's grab a different color if it went really fast let's say it went really fast and then slowed down then again it would be 50 meters per second all right and again this would be average average that's probably not the way to do it let's average speed okay and if it's a straight line if it's a straight line that like that, then you know it went at a constant, constant speed. So it didn't go faster, it didn't go slower, it stayed at the same pace. All right, uh, the video is getting long. Uh, hope that helped.